Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special 2020 reunion edition where I bring on guests that I had on in the past, and I like them so much, I brought them back for another conversation. Um, so today's guest, Jay Lessinger, um, is the SVP National Practice Leader over at Alliant Retirement Consulting. Uh, Jay, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me again, Adam. I appreciate it. Awesome. So um, I don't want to assume everybody caught the first episode. Uh, so that being said, let's just start out with a quick refresher on what you're doing um, over at Alliant Retirement Consulting. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Absolutely. Uh, well, thanks again for, for having me. And uh, Alliant Retirement Consulting, we're one of the largest independent consulting firms in the country. Um, we do anything from uh, fiduciary liability management for our clients as you know, there's a lot of liability out there for, for plan sponsors of retirement plans, and we manage that process through our process. Uh, we do investment uh, consulting. We do plan design and compliance consulting. We do everyday vendor management and just sort of the day-to-day -day things that, that uh, pop up with the retirement plans and benchmarking and, and so forth. Yeah, that's awesome. And Jay, um, I think that's going to lead. You're, you're the guy I wanted on the show for this for this topic. So when I got the pitch, I was like, oh, this is this is going to be a good one. So financial wellness in four hundred one k for financial wellness in the four hundred one k market. Where do you want to begin? Uh, well, that's that's a, a, a perfect uh, uh, segue. Uh, financial wellness, obviously, being sort of the buzz topic in the industry these days. Everybody's sort of talking about it. You're seeing a lot of commercials on TV about it from the different vendors. Um, you're seeing all sorts of stats. Unfortunately, some of these stats are showing that most Americans. Uh, are not doing a good job saving for retirement. Uh, most don't uh, have an emergency fund set aside. Um, you know, many struggle with uh, with their budgeting. Um, you've seen stats about student loan debt rising. Um, many don't think they can afford to participate in their company's retirement plan, which, as you know, is not a good idea. Uh, they could be leaving uh, money on the table in some circumstances where their employer might offer a match in their retirement plan. Um, so these are sort of the things that, that – uh, you know, we are uh, wanting to talk with our employees uh, about, with employees of our uh, clients about. Uh, mm -hmm. We're making this year something we really focus on. Um, and we're rolling out a product called ARC Coach, ARC being Alliant Retirement Consulting, Coach being what you think it would mean. We're sort of uh, uh, making us available to the participants, and maybe not just the participants, but some of the employees of uh, of our clients that may not be participating, and those in particular who who – uh, we can really sort of talk through, um, you know, their situation and, and talk through um, some of the opportunities that are, are available to them. A lot of times uh, there's many products and, and good ideas that are out there uh, that employees may not be aware of, realize they have access to through their employer or via the retirement plan vendor of uh, the company they work for, and really just sort of helping them to sort of navigate that and talk talk through their options and um, hopefully, at the end of the day, uh, guide them in the right direction as far as uh, um, you know a game plan on how they can they can uh, whether it's participate in the plan or sort of get back on on track. Now oh, that's awesome, I love it, and I think in the 401k, I don't care what anybody says, it just has a special spot in my heart, always has, and uh, it's just because that's where a lot of people are going to accumulate their wealth, and that's I mean, and if they don't participate, and this is my opinion, this is not Jay's opinion, not looking for him to agree, nothing like that, he doesn't solicit this, no, just for compliance and everybody else just to know, like, that's my personal opinion, that I think that's the best. One of the things that happened in my personal life was um, my, my mother, so she tells this story all the time, she's like, she didn't start her 401k until she was past 40. Like she based on just compound interest, easy math, um, and for her it was just a knowledge thing. Her, so her grandparents, or her parents, my grandparents, they grew up in the time of pensions. And then when you had pensions, what happened? The the employer would take care of you for life. You stay there with them 30 years. They do they do a payout for you for life. You're you're pretty well taken care of, depending on how good the pension was. So then what happens? You're fine. <clears throat> Once we change from the pension system and we have a 401k, if you're not doing that. 
then um, when you get closer to retirement, there might be some things that you're not too happy with. So just for example, easy compound interest. My mother lost, she left lots of money on the table, no matter, even if she poorly invested the money in her particular situation, um, she still would have been better off based on what, what off of the amount of money she made in her life and the amount of potential compounding interest that she had the ability to earn. Um, like there's, there's nothing else that compares to it. Um, so that being said, Jay, can you go into the, the art tool a little bit more. I want to hear a little bit more about what that is and how that works because I think that's super interesting and I like to hear the fact that um, that um, that uh, Alliant Retirement Consulting is uh, making that investment because that takes a lot of investment for someone to come out with a tool like that. Well, I appreciate that and and, uh, and you're absolutely right about the 401k and there's all sorts of stats, as you know, that show the, the importance of starting early when it comes to that and, and that's really the point here. I think a lot of young participants who are, you know, they're coming out with some student debt and so forth and, mm-hmm. and other loans and, and they're they're thinking, you know, they're not even thinking about being able to afford, um, you know, investing in the 401k plan. And, and again, they might be leaving, um, you know, employer match on the table. Uh, it used to be, like you said, uh, companies sort of took care of you in the form of a defined benefit plan where there's sort of that guaranteed payment at retirement. And of course, we've seen a shift with the 401ks coming out in the 80s. We've seen a shift to the defined contribution 401k market where, you know, the onus is on the participant uh, to save for retirement uh, as a deduction of the, from their paycheck. And again, that's where we, you know, the rubber hits the road a little bit as far as, you know, well, you know, participants don't always like the idea of, of giving up money, but again, it's an education thing. And it's an, it's an idea of, you know, maybe you cut uh, a meal out uh, for the week and, and put it towards your retirement or what, whatever sort of different ideas uh, you can and talk to a participant about. That's what we're, that's what we're doing with this. Our coach is really sort of talking through, um, you know, each of our clients are different. You know, some, some might have match in their plan, some might not. Um, and so if a participant sort of asking, um, you know, well, what should I do? And if we're starting with, uh, well, you should look to your uh, 401k plan and we'll know the plan design. So we'll say, well, for example, um, your company matches up to 3% of your deferrals, you'll want to maybe start at 3%. And and that way you're taking full advantage of what the company is giving to you um, for free, basically, by by contributing that 3%. As a simple, you know, example of, of, of a starting point that we can, we can talk to with a participant. So it's little things like that as far as, you know, maybe you don't uh, have that Starbucks after, after work and, and you think of that and, and, you know, if it's, if that's $3, uh, you know, five days a week, you know, and, and you sort of do the math, and maybe you put that in, in your retirement plan. And, and like you said, with your case, your mom, you know, had she started uh, doing even, you know, some simple deferrals when she was, when she was younger, it is amazing uh, how much that grows over time. Yeah, and, and again, not picking on her, she allows me to tell her story. I mean, she has her master's degree from University of Michigan. I mean, highly educated woman. I mean, like, it's, it was just, it literally just didn't know um, how, how they yeah. worked and why they worked. And so um, I love to hear the idea of the art coaching program, what you're doing on that side to really educate. Because for me, the the whole key to the 401k market has always been education because that that's what normally gets people. Once they really get it and they understand and they, they get how things work over the long haul, um, and have that, then people aren't usually like, okay, I shouldn't, you know, put in twenty dollars a paycheck or thirty or fifty or a hundred um, or whatever their whatever their percentage is. By the way, so that's going to vary for everybody. Um, if you I would, so obviously I would recommend that everybody listening that is part of. Um, a 401k or their work offers one. Um, if you don't participate, you need to talk with whoever your administrator is or whatever else and get more information because the reason you're not participating is probably because you don't know enough about it. Um, and if you are participating, um, the next step, in my opinion, will be to make sure that you're get, you're contributing what is reasonable for you to contribute it and, and to have a plan for that. So um, both, of, both of those things are going to make a big difference. That's going to vary for everybody. Um, so, Jay, if somebody is listening to this right now and they have a business and they're thinking about offering a 401k plan or maybe they want to review or they want to they're kind of shopping around they want to know about other providers and other things that are out there um, what's the best route for them to uh, to get more um, info well absolutely and and um, uh, they're probably this is going to be on LinkedIn as I know you you mm-hmm. uh, will publish it there and that's probably the easiest way to contact me I'm on LinkedIn um, Jay Lashinger um, Alliant 
Uh, retirement Consulting is, uh, is my company. And uh, again, it's really an education thing. I agree with you there. And um, there's all sorts of tools that are available that, again, participants really may or may not be aware of. And uh, all sorts of financial wellness tools. Um, if you look at some of the stats, you see that um, you know a lot of these participants are not taking them up, these vendors up. They have these great sites and these great tools and everything else, but only maybe five to ten percent uh, of participants are actually using it because guess what? They're, they're just not aware of it. So that's yeah. our job is to make participants aware of what's out there for them and uh, really try to do our best to help them uh, uh, secure a uh, you know a more comfortable retirement. Awesome. Well, hey, Jay, really appreciate you coming back on the show. been great reconnecting. You, you, I'm glad to know that there's guys like you out there uh, fighting the fight to get people <laughs> educated about these 401Ks, get them enrolled, get it done. It's for your good, everyone. Just participate. Like, do what you have to do. Um, and by the way, I can say that because I'm no longer licensed in the financial industry. So, again, those are my words, not Jay. <laughs> so I can make that blanket statement. I appreciate statement. that. Um, absolutely. Um, and, Jay, thanks again for coming on the show. And uh, to the audience, as always, speaking of, after I'm done preaching about 401k, now subscribe to the channel. Without you, there's no there's no podcast. So really appreciate you subscribing and and listening further. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We just launched that this year. Uh, Money matters. Top tips. Leave us some comments. You have some alternative views on 401ks. You agree with me? You don't? Leave us some comments on YouTube. Let's engage. Um, and Jay, thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks for having me again, Adam. Uh, have a great year. <laughs>